In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a look at a couple of additional templates that we have within our slideshow designer to show you how to customize them. Uh, we're covering several of these in groups because there are so many of them, and some of them share similar characteristics. We also have a lesson on how to create a slideshow very quickly in minutes, and we hope you check that one out as well. Uh, to make a slideshow, basically you take a series of uh, graphic images, put them on the same track, highlight them, and click on the slideshow button. Uh, we'd like to cover in this particular lesson four different uh, presets or templates that you can use. One is normal. When I click on normal, you notice all I get is a play button. There is nothing I can do to change normal. So that's one of the two that will not allow any kind of customization whatsoever. I'm going to show you the other one that you can't change at all. I'll click on here and click on slideshow. And the other one that allows nothing is called montage. I'll double click on that. We'll begin to load the slides again. All I have is the player controls here. And uh, there's nothing I can do uh, to change anything here. So. These are two that simply run as designed, so I'll cancel out of that. Let me show you two others that use almost identical uh, customizing controls. The ones I would like to show you are collage and scrapbook. So we'll do collage first. I'll highlight again, do slideshow, and we'll move into collage. When I double click on it, it will load. And now, beyond the play controls, I have a replace background. What does that allow me to do? Well, first of all, let's see what the default is. It will take the first picture in the series and make that a grayscale background on which the color pictures show up, again, uh, under the control of the template. You can't change any of these features. So that gives you a way in which you can uh, put them on a grayscale background. But you can replace the background. If I click on Replace Background, it takes me to my file system. I can go anywhere I want in my files to do that. Let's pick this baseball one for now. And then I'll click and we'll play it again. And now they're on top of a, a grayscale baseball picture. And so you can change this picture to be something that's one of the same pictures you find uh, in, your, in your media bin here, or you can make it something completely different that you like. Uh, you could make it the color of a tablecloth or a blue sky or a dog's face. It doesn't really matter. Anything you like will work. So I'm going ahead and stop that. We'll cancel that. And that one applies to the collage. It also applies to scrapbook, so we'll do a slideshow again, and we'll pick scrapbook. And here we have identical controls, but we have a different look and feel. Uh, we have pictures that also pop on the screen in a predetermined pre way. Um, And yet it does also has this background control where I can take the background and say, I don't want the first picture. I want something else. And we'll do a, well, let's do a pickle for fun. And we'll click and we'll play it again. Then we get a pickle in the background. And then we have our pictures on the top. Uh, if you want to change the, we'll cancel this. If you want to change the first picture, that will by default be there. All you have to do is reorder these. I'll take this one and drag it over here. Okay, and I can move these anywhere I want. I don't have to move them to do the slideshow, by the way. I click on slideshow. I will go back to uh, one of these two that we just looked at. We'll look at collage again. And then if I click on play, here is my first picture. It's the one that we have over here. So that's the way you can change it if you want it to be one of the pictures that you're using in your slideshow itself. So that gives you another way to kind of customize it. And you could take a picture that's not tied to the other ones and make that your introductory background. Um, so it works in a couple different ways. Or you can pull it in 
just off your file system by clicking Replace Background.